This week, three Americans won the Nobel Prize for their years of work on circadian rhythms. Yeah, they're also known as body clocks that tell us when to go to sleep and wake up. So are we born morning people or night owls? Good question. Heather Brown found some answers in mattress shopping in Woodbury. You a night owl or a morning person? A uh, night owl. Okay. How about you? Well, I used to be a night owl, but I'm a morning person now. And how's that working out for both of you? Everyone knows what they are. <laughs> I would love to be able to get up early in the morning. I have my alone time in the morning. My grandparents are definitely morning people. <laughs> They're always like, why are you sleeping so late? Are we born morning people or night owls? Yes. There's an element of our circadian rhythm that is genetic. Dr. Andrew Steam is a sleep expert with Alana Health. There is both a behavioral tendency and then a biologic tendency. Scientists know one big thing that affects our body clocks, melatonin. Melatonin is something that our body makes the darker it gets. Mm -hmm. So the darker it gets, the more our body makes melatonin. Mm -hmm. The higher the melatonin is, the more our circadian desire to go to bed. And our genes can partly determine when that melatonin strikes each day. For example, I'm a morning person, my husband's a night owl. Uh -huh. So his, as an example, melatonin peak uh -huh. is probably different than yours. So he wants to go to bed later, his melatonin surge is probably later. You want to go to bed earlier, your melatonin surge is probably earlier. Little kids, it seems like they're always morning people. They're always... <laughs> and that's not fair. <laughs> they're up like at 6.30 and the 6 o'clock in the morning wanting to play. Can you go from a night owl to a morning person? I believe you can. Do you want to? Not really. <laughs> we can change whether we're a morning person or a night person by just changing when we wake up and go to sleep. He says you have to pick a wake up time and stick to it. No snooze buttons, no sleeping in on the weekends. Then the other thing you really have to anchor then is light exposure. Uh -huh. And so you need, when you wake up, you need to be in the light. And he says even if you don't try, your circadian rhythms can change over time. Now that I don't have to get up, I mean, it's to the point where I watch reruns of golf. Heather Brown, retirement suits you. Yes, it does. I, I'm good at it. WCCO. Four news. And Dr. Steam says that he often hears from couples who feel guilty that one loves morning and the other loves nights. I, I love nights. I'm yeah. a night owl. Definitely. You are a night owl. I don't feel guilty, though. For sure. It'd be nice if you got up sometimes. <laughs> uh, as he says, it's, does, it's okay as long as you make it to work on time. He threw that in. <laughs> Pretty clever. All right, if you have a good question for Heather, just email it by going to wcco.com slash links.